welcome Leo's, the beautiful downtown Cancun studios, Cancun, Mexico. Uh, driven indoors uh, because of a lot of rain and stuff, so it's pretty peaceful here. Now, this is for the end of November, guys, so I'm looking at this one. And this is your heart spread, reads the ones on your mind, once in your heart. And um, I had pre shuffled, so I already have the reading ready. I'm showing you the bottom of the deck, the temperance card. Um, and I'm a Sagittarius. I can be honest with you, I stick by third wife before I brought this up because I just think about, I shuffled a lot. And I was thinking, like, Leo, Leo, Leo. And Leo in my chart. And, the whole thing of me Saturn in the sixth house. I'm kind of like the not Leo who <laughs> Saturn there suppressing everything. Um, but they got the feeling of a lot of the sun energy, you know. And I, I you notice on this deck, what is this with the strength card? <laughs> uh, it's a Gilded Terror Royale deck, but probably thinking of it. Uh, because I know uh, always on Wednesdays it's Leo and Virgo day <laughs> so I do this and we do a singles read do uh, meet the soulmate read if you're totally single this will pick up who's on your mind you don't have to necessarily even have to be with them also and I'll put a link in the description here um, every day I do a daily collective read the soul family read so do check it out try to keep it short I think it went 20 minutes today but I did a heart spread for us uh, with our higher self so in that reading, it's not so much relationship oriented, it's spirituality, manifestation, that kind of thing. Um, so here we're going to look at you and your person. Let's get to it. King of Cups, I like this for you, Leo. You might have cancer in your chart. But this is you in and around relationship, where your mind is at, where your heart is at. Um, I'd say you speak to someone that's mature. Um, as it takes some time to get to be a king here. And um, you're manifesting, uh, channeling in what, anyway, this uh, emotional part of yourself. Um, you may have gained over time uh, emotional wisdom, emotion, what we call it, emotional intelligence, emotional awareness. The King of Cups not afraid to be emotionally vulnerable. Um, it, it's, you become the master of your emotions too. If before emotions would overwhelm you, and now, you know, you have them contained in the cup. You know, you are the king of cups. You are emotions. It's a great energy to be in, I think, in terms of coming in uh, to a heart spread, which I kind of read this as your energy on your own, but as you come into space with this person represented here, in your seventh house, uh, animus, anima projection as the knight of wands. Fire energy. Um, this could be, uh, besides any fire sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I think the same for this reading, I should say. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, Leo. Um, so it could be a fellow Leo, could be a Sag. Um, they're, uh, they're not facing into the reading, I noticed, though. So this is not someone that, that, as you guys came together, that was hotly pursuing you, um, which would lead me to think that it was more like a Sag energy because of the fire signs, that would be the least likely to pursue. Pursuit's like a thing for Aries. Aries, Venus, my God, it's like a bird dog. Or love and you know here the knight of wands kind of prancing around looking the other way um it's got a sagittarius feel a uh, note the volcano <laughs> uh, someone that uh, about them beyond you just in themselves that uh, has a strong sexuality they're probably also very physically beautiful physically attractive they're probably younger than you king knight okay um, and they're bringing in, uh, they would bring to you, it's kind of your energy for you guys even come together, so I'm really trying to see it. But what would they would bring to a king of, of cups is this passion, this fire, you know, use this steam, which ran the world for a bit there. Burn the shit out of you. I found that out not too long ago. Uh, if you, it just, it touches you. So the moon. Now this is your energy, as what you're feeling about your person 
I was thinking like there's look at these colors a lot of similar colors around the king like the aura around the king here um, so it's like um, too I want to say it's kind of like uh, you would have had like some kind of enlightenment around emotions here but now to have the moon as to what you're feeling about the person it's pretty subtle it could just be like huh I don't really know quite what to feel can't, there's something, but I can't really put my finger on it. I can't really even say, is it good? Is it bad? Is it make me nervous? Make me excited? And it's like something elusive. Something's eluding you about this person. What is it, spirit? Uh, okay, what you see is a, a control issues here, like a red flag. It's like a red flag that you're just sensing. You're smelling it, smelling it out. And you're emotional. You're the master of emotions. You can't fool the master of emotions. They take the guards take this uh, magician out of the court. I'm not fooled uh, by the likes of these kinds of things. And I think that's what's triggering you, is you sense with this fire person that there could be an element of control with them. And I could only guess they would have given you some reason, but maybe you haven't really put it together. Maybe you have, you know. Um, However, it does imply also, uh, you know, that maybe you want to take control um, and from them. And, and that in itself could be something hidden, the moon, the shadows, the emotions. Um, it, it would, that would kind of imply that there's something even the king himself doesn't see, male or female, the king of cups himself doesn't see something emotional. What could that possibly be? It'd be something like from the emperor because that's above the king. Even the king's not the emperor, huh? Could be like that, too. Either way, it's like something not being seen. There's like these control issues. Maybe they bring them out and bring these out in you. Uh, you might be aware of this being a, a king of cups. Maybe they're sexual. Only the control is wrapped up into the Pluto and all of that, you know? Issues of jealousy. All of these things. Wow, now look at this, the five of wands. This is exactly why you're reacting that way. Now I see it kind of differently. Now they have the five of wands here because this is how they're reacting to you. So I don't know if for some weird reason here, Leo, there was any doubt, like maybe you were asking yourself with this moon, like, I don't know, am I being kind of judgmental or are they kind of being a dick right now? Well, they're definitely being a dick right now. You're not really being judgmental, you know. And, you know, whatever, people have their things, but it's love and stuff. You, you don't want people coming at you with this energy. You know, they're looking at the past. There's obviously, obviously, it's stuff from the past here. Right now, I don't even feel like a strong soulmate connection, i got to tell you, or anything like that. A lot of times you get all oh, these contracts and there's stuff to be done. I don't know. I don't feel a strong connection with you. Um, either of you, honestly, you know, yours is stronger here. I mean, this emperor could imply a strong connection, but it will definitely come, you know, you're Leo, so it's going to come, if this is how you're feeling this relationship, it's bringing out some part of you that wants either, is very sensitive to domination and control, or, um, you know, it wants to practice it upon the other person. Now, this is your advice from spirit, okay? Um towards this person. The best advice spirit can give you in terms of relating to this person is the Queen of Pentacles. And when I see the Queen of Pentacles here, it's advising you to not only be the King of Cups, but to be solid, reminding you of your worth, because the Queen of Cups has, uh, uh, Pentacles has no doubt, and takes very good care of herself, her kingdom. Um, this is coming under the Emperor. It is coming under the Moon. That's clarified by the Emperor. So there's a lot of emphasis for you on really being solid. I would also say that this is not exactly the reading, but if, if you take the emperor with the queen of pentacles, I think it's going to really serve you well to have very strong boundaries with this person and very little tolerance for this person, frankly. Um, that's what this is saying. Play your own game. Uh, you abide by your own rules, force them to abide by your rules. Um, you're coming in with the king and queen energy here. Look at that. He wants to meet you with the king of pentacles. 
What's I mean, when I saw this, I'm like, well, fuck, game on, because this is advice from spirit. So they may not choose to take this advice, but wow, if there's a crosswalk here, or if you can share, this is like maybe there is something going on here, some kind of soulmate connection here, uh, and maybe your person needs to wake up and kind of uh, all of this energy I'm picking up on over here. It's immature energy. I mean, again, you're a king, they're a knight. They're probably younger, maybe not younger in a number of ways. But this is advice from spirit telling them that you have a queen of pentacles here. It's solid as you get. And, and man up, woman up, male, female, reverse, whatever, um, rise to the occasion. And, you know, the king of pentacles is, first of all, you know, he'll send out a knight of wands if he wants. It's not what he does. He's the king of pentacles. He just takes care. He's a man. <laughs> He's a man of the man. Nobody gets to the King of Pentacles. And he definitely don't have time for this kind of bullshit right here. It just, you know, King of Pentacles like, I ain't got time for that. Yeah. I ain't got time for that. So let's get a card for the advice from Spirit. Seven of Pentacles defending the castle. Wow. So this is advice from Spirit for your relationship. And it's saying you have a relationship here. And this is defending the castle. It's always righteous, righteous anger. Think about that. And it's actions, it's defense. It's different from this energy over here, the Five of Wands, okay? Um, and you see, let's look at that card, you know? Um, it's like, bring it, you know? I got you know, a stick, and I'm going to stand here in the door, and I'll just take you down one at a time. Go, come on, because it's my house, it's my castle, my family's in there. Bring it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be here. And so, that energy is for your relationship as a whole. This only implies one thing to me, that there's outside forces that are somehow not helping matters, okay? And you're going to be called upon as a couple, take actions to address this, you know. Um, it may have, you may need to address a number of things in order to come together as a couple here. When you have king and queen of pentacles as your advice, now particularly, frankly, Leo, if you're a woman and this is a man we're talking about, ding, ding, ding. Two of pentacles. Now it's not sexy, <laughs> but also what is it it's one king and one queen equals two, and that's your outcome. That is really solid outcome, too. Um, and it means this is the outcome of this relationship, I'd say with the two of pentacles, is boyfriend-girlfriend energy, but there's commitment, there's, you know, you guys kind of being in some kind of balance in the near future with this relationship. And with these seven of wands, it may be both of you kind of have to carve out a space in your life. You have to carve out something, meaning maybe carve out someone, and then they have to carve out someone in order to create this space in your life for you guys to come together. And it's not really about choices here, because this is the outcome. This is about balance, and this is work, this personal work. It's like... You're going to have to work. Maybe you're going to work a few extra hours one day to have a little hourly off one day so that you can be with them and they need to do this and all of these things, right? Day-to-day -day balance, but it's uh, it's nice energy to be in. Um, and so I don't like see really like a marriage or anything like this, um, but a really a building of a relationship where you guys begin to work together as a couple and I think you're moving towards that with the King of Pentacles. I mean, this could even be we move in together energy. It could be that uh, with the Two of Pentacles. It'd be a very equal uh, uh, energy. And it would, it's going to require some effort, which is not unusual. Maybe somebody's sell a house. Maybe somebody's got to rent a house. Maybe somebody's got to move and clean and all these things that could come up. The children could be involved. So, uh, exes. Remember, the <laughs> temperance was the overall energy. So, that kind of implies time, too. I got a little feeling, it's a little time, a little time. But it's all good. It's leading in the right direction, uh, Leo. So, give me a, a like or thumbs up. Do leave a comment, would you, if, it, if you have anything to say. 
Uh, it helps the channel. And uh, do subscribe. Hit the bell. Thank you, guys.